This video is going to summarize how I changed a drain, an old drain that was leaking and sort of rusted, stuck in place with a new shower drain. So we had two plumbers come out and they just put more silicone on this and after a couple of weeks it kept leaking again. And the last time they came out they said that the leaks were being caused because as we pushed down on the floor it was breaking the seal of the silicone and that the shower should have been installed with a base of mortar or something so that it wouldn't uh, flex down. So here we are underneath the shower. Um, you can't really tell from here but there's nothing supporting the shower floor so as you step on it the whole structure can kind of move up and down. However the PVC pipe network here has enough flex into it in it to kind of go with the shower floor. So I didn't see any reason why the uh, the whole thing was leaking just because the shower floor could move a little bit. If the drain is correctly clamping onto the PVC pipe, it seems like the whole assembly should just move together. And originally there was only a very small hole in the plywood around the PVC pipe, and I cut out the rest of the plywood with a drill and jigsaw eventually, with multiple trips to the hardware store in a futile attempt to get more room to have leverage on the original drain, which never really worked out. So here's how this drain works. Starting with the shower floor, which is this blue line, the uh, drain body fits down over top the PVC and through the hole in the shower floor. This is actually what the drain body looks like. It's held onto the shower floor with this lock nut that screws on from the bottom. That looks like this piece. So that screws on there like that. Uh, there's also a rubber washer in between the lock nut and the shower floor that seals it from the bottom. And you're supposed to put uh, plumber's putty or silicone in between the drain body and the top of the shower floor. So right in here to make the seal on the top. So this is a cockless drain it doesn't require any welding or caulk or any sealant between the drain body and the PVC. And the way they make a seal is there's this uh, compression gasket. It's basically a sleeve of rubber, which you can see right there. And that thing goes around the PVC pipe. And it's pressed against the PVC pipe by tightening down this compression nut. And this thing fits in between the drain body and this rubber gasket. So that screws on the inside in there. Um, pressing this compression gasket against the PVC. So you don't need any other sealant or welding between the PVC and the drain body to make a seal. To tighten this thing you can either use channel locks or the new drain came with this little handy piece of metal fits in these notches that lets you use a regular screwdriver to tighten it. So I noticed that the plumber had put silicone between this rubber compression gasket and the PVC pipe, which didn't make any sense because this type of drain isn't supposed to require any of that. Um, so I suspected that the drain was just loose and uh, for one reason or another might just need to be replaced. Um, replacing it turned out to be a major challenge because uh, from the top side as I tried to turn this piece to loosen the drain from the PVC pipe, it actually turned the entire drain. So the uh, lock nut wasn't holding this, it wasn't clamping the drain to the shower floor, and the whole thing was just turning. So I didn't have any way to grip this part while undoing this part. And this thing was pretty much uh, rusted, frozen. And as you'll see in a second, there wasn't exactly a lot of room up there. So after several hours of using every kind of wrench, pliers, uh, hammer, anything I could manage to get up on there uh, and failing to loosen the drain, I went to the internet and read that people recommended just trying to cut the thing out. So the recommendation is to get a hacksaw blade and wrap it in a rag so you can hold on to it. And then I use that to very, very slowly cut the entire length of the drain. Uh, you can see it there. Um, I managed to do that without hurting the fiberglass tub for the most part. 
it took about a half an hour of constant cutting. Once I cut the slot in the drain, that was enough to loosen it, I guess, and I was able to uh, remove the old lock nut. This is a diagram of the new drain I bought. It's um, it's a Sioux Chief brand Jackrabbit, no caulk base drain. So it's the same type of uh, compression rubber gasket that holds onto the PVC pipe. But the part that clamps to the shower floor is a little bit different. Here's a diagram of it. It's got an extra piece of metal in here that is pushed against the shower floor with these uh, jacking screws is what they're calling it. So the original lock nut has four holes in it for screws and you, you hand tight the lock nut and then you tighten these things to actually create the clamping force against the shower floor. This is The big advantage of this is that you don't have to have a lot of room around the drain to tighten the lock nut. This is the new Jackrabbit drain, and you can see the jacking screws there, the uh, clamping piece of metal, and the piece of uh, and the rubber washer that finally makes the seal between the drain and the bottom of the shower floor.